One of the most difficult accomplishments of evolution is hunting from the air, which requires navigating the world in all three dimensions and outwitting prey that has evolved. When we consider airborne predators, similarly spectacular escape maneuvers seem like a minor achievement. Our thoughts may turn to ferocious raptors like the peregrine falcon, which occasionally dives past its target before soaring up and catching it in midair. They have a 23.1% total hunting success rate, according to one research. With a comparable success rate of 22.5%, other aerial predators like hawks pick select prey birds from their flock. Even while owls don't have highly evolved aerial hunting methods, they nonetheless have a 25% overall success rate where they pin their prey to the ground. Lions only succeed less than 30% of the time compared to other dominating predators on Earth. African dogs are perhaps the best land-based hunters with a success rate of up to 67% when working together, but this figure still pales in comparison. The greatest hunter on Earth is the dragonfly, a much smaller predator that hovers over bodies of water with stunning wings and enormous compound eyes. Their success rate is close to 100%. In this video, you will get to know facts that may change the way you look at these unique, ancient, and incredibly varied insects. Before we proceed, kindly return the favor and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and activate the bell notification feature to stay up to speed with new video publications. Dragonflies have highly developed hunting, flying, and long life spans for a beetle, at least. They even mastered the ability to fly backwards, which is useful for catching flies and mosquitoes. Dragonflies are able to catch prey in midair. If you're a gnat, mosquito, or other little bug, dragonflies are downright terrifying. They carefully plan aerial ambushes to capture their prey rather of just chasing it down. Dragonflies can alter their flight to intercept prey by analyzing the speed and trajectory of the prey target. They are so adept in hunting that their success rate might reach 97%. They have incredibly sharp mandibles. The word toothed ones, which refers to the serrated teeth on dragonflies and damselflies' mandibles, derives from the order of Anata, which also includes butterflies. Dragonflies seize their food with their feet, use their razor-sharp jaws to rip off its wings so it can't fly away, and then eat the poor bug without even having to land. Fortunately, most dragonflies are unable to bite people. Most of these creatures don't have mandibles powerful enough to pierce our skin. Only a small number of huge species are able to bite, and they only do so to defend themselves. They are freaky flyers. The impressive flying ability of the dragonfly is unmatched by many other species in the animal realm. The insects have two sets of wings, each of which can be operated separately by muscles in the thorax. They could exercise aerial agility and vary the angle of each wing thanks to this. The direct flight muscles found on the walls of the thorax of the majority of winged insects cause the thorax to distort as they expand and contract. The wings quiver and begin to flail as a result of the thorax's deformation's resonance being transmitted to them. Dragonflies have individual muscles that attach directly to the base of each of their four wings individually in all three axes, giving them the ability to control their horizontal, vertical, and torsional motion, giving them precision and agility that are unmatched by most insects with different flight muscles. Direct flight muscles have their own advantages. Dragonflies are one of the few insects that can drive themselves in all six directions, up, down, left, right, forward, and even backward, thanks to this autonomous control. The capacity of dragonflies to flap their fore and hind wings in various phases and to change that phase based on the maneuvers they want to accomplish sets them apart from other insects in a unique way. They can fly by counterstroking, which involves flapping their fore and hind wings 180 degrees out of phase with one another. They can then transition to phase stroking, in which the rear wing beats 90 degrees ahead of the other four wings, enabling them to hover or engage in very sluggish forward flight. This produces much less lift, but also produces a lot more propulsion. Certain species can achieve speeds of over 50 kilometers per hour, making them by far the fastest flying insects. Furthermore, certain species of them may travel at a high speed of 18 miles per hour. They are renowned for their endurance accomplishments as well. The globe skimmer, Pantala flavicens, is thought to have the world's longest insect migration, traveling 11,000 kilometers across an ocean. If you take a really close look, you will notice one thing in particular or more precisely, 
30,000 things in particular, if you glance at a dragonfly's head. An odd in its head is mostly made up of its massive compound eyes, which have 30,000 facets and are used to gather information about its environment. Dragonflies have almost complete peripheral vision, with only one blind spot in their immediate rear. They can track down a single insect in a swarm and pursue it, while avoiding mid-air collisions with other insects in the swarm thanks in part to their exceptional vision. Dragonflies can survive for years underwater. They lay their eggs in water and the larvae spend up to two years living there after hatching. Actually, some species can remain in the larval stage for up to six years, depending on the latitude and altitude. Before emerging and changing into the dragonflies we see in the air, it might molt up to 17 times. They may catch prey at breakneck speeds since they have been uniquely equipped for the water environment at this stage. They will consume a wide range of foods such as fish, tadpoles, various insect larvae, and yes, even other dragonfly larvae. Some laying hens use salt water. The ocean is home to comparatively few insects, maybe because they struggle to survive in salt water. However, some dragonflies don't appear to mind. Some species, such as the coastal dragonlet, Erythrotoplax berenice, can even breathe in waters with a saltier concentration of sodium chloride. Because it lives in salt marshes, mangroves, and salt lakes, the seashore dragonlet is a unique species. It is the only species of dragonfly in North America, but not the entire world, whose habitat range is limited to salty environments. People can benefit from dragonflies. Dragonflies assist people by reducing populations of pest insects, particularly those that pose the greatest damage to us, including mosquitoes and biting flies. You might be wondering how they do this. A single dragonfly may consume anywhere from 30 to hundreds of mosquitoes per day. Now that's an interesting fact. Due to their extraordinary vision and flight abilities, dragonflies have also inspired us to develop new technology such as drones and artificial visual systems. Supporting the preservation of their habitats will enable us to repay them by ensuring that they can survive for another 300 million years. So the next time you see a dragonfly hovering around your neighborhood pond, remember to stop and admire this deadly bird of the sky. Not only do dragonflies dominate the air, but their larvae also make dangerous underwater hunters because to their wacky retractable jaws, which can extend halfway down their length. Compared to the dragonflies we are familiar with, their habitat is even more foreign, and their hunting method is also quite remarkable. And now, let us hear from you in the comment section below. Keep in mind that more videos will be up soon. So be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell in order to stay up to date with new video alerts. Also, sharing indicates you want to see our content reach a wider audience. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.